Welcome to the Booze Buddy Update. Screwball Eggnog, JD Single Malt, and Steak Wines. Screwball Eggnog is here. I mean, we're all a little screwy around the holidays, right? Well, why is this called Screwball anyway? Well, it's made with the peanut butter screwball whiskey, but they don't stop there. Adding eggnog that's made with cream to the mix. Honestly, it sounds like I'd love it before I hate that I love it so much. Screwball eggnog is salty, sweet, and savory, brings in a creamy and spicy eggnog flavor with notes of cinnamon and vanilla. How could you not want to at least try it with that kind of a description? While eggnog can be served warm, they recommend serving this cold over ice for the best flavor. It comes in at 29 and a half proof, that's 14.75% ABV. Not available everywhere, so if you plan to join the screw crew and get screwed, know that it's not yet although it is available at some online retailers who may have it. Details, of course, in the show notes. JD Single Malt. Yeah, Jack Daniels has released a single malt whiskey. Okay, here's the name, and I hope I can get it right in one try. Jack Daniels Twice Barreled Special Release American Single Malt Finished in Oloroso Sherry Casks. It's making seems as complicated as its name. It starts with a malted barley that is ground, fermented, and distilled in Lynchburg, Tennessee, then passes through Jack Daniel's tradition of charcoal mellowing and matures in new charred American white oak barrels for a minimum of four years before spending two more years in Spanish Oloroso sherry casks from Antonio Paya's Lobato Cooperage before bottling it cask proof, and it takes in at between 106.1 and 107.8 proof. Look for vanilla and caramel plus soft oak, fruit, and even chocolate-covered nuts and berries, plus, of course, that sherry finish. See, the name doesn't seem too long, now does it? It's hitting shelves this month for about $70 in slightly smaller than standard bottles. Details at the link, of course, in the show notes. The third story after this, the Boost Buddy update, is brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Steak wines. No, not wines made from steak or steak made with wines. We're talking about wines made for steaks. A warning for the faint of heart. These are not budget wines in this list. However, we all know when you look at wines, you look for the descriptions, you look at the ratings, and you'll find there are similar ones between $300 bottles and $25 bottles giving you almost every bit as much satisfaction as that big price. But you might be smiling even more as you have a great match and saved $275 for more wines, steaks, or, hey, some primping at the spa. Look, I don't know what you're going to spend it on. Cabernet Sauvignon, Tempranillo, Malbec, Shiraz, uh, Pinot Noir, and Bordeaux are the styles of wines that you're going to be looking for. These are the red wines with the strength of flavor and acidity that will go well with your favorite steak. As we've seen more and more, barbecue pitmasters are recommending the great stuff. So see the list and start comparing at the link in the show notes. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to reach out to me, you have a story suggestion, uh, you can head over to boozebuddyupdate.com. Also, all of these story notes are always stored right there. And wanted to just take a quick second for those who are still watching. First of all, thank you for still watching. And secondly, you might notice things are going to be changing a little bit here recent, uh, in the near future. Uh, trying different things with audio, uh, trying different things with video. Actually, this is my first video with a teleprompter here so that I'm hopefully, uh, you know, paying a little bit more attention to the camera and not mousing through the script and looking off to the side as I've been doing for quite a while now. So thanks for joining me. And if you want some merch, head over to the link uh, for the Ko-Fi page that you'll find in the show notes as well. Thanks for joining me.